Hi guys, it's me Mike again, and this is another video tutorial. I'm going to show you guys how to do this plaid abstract effect in Photoshop. This one right here that you see in blue. Um, it's going to be really cool. I don't have this shape again right here with the um, lady. I'll see if I can load it up again and show you guys, but if anything, I'll just put a different shape. But in reality, I'm just going to show you guys how to make this cool plaid effect within the filter effect in Photoshop. So, um, yeah. Uh, so just create a basic uh, wallpaper size document if you want and select your size any gradient you want so let's say you choose the one that I gave you guys on my website you can use those I'm using a silver one so it's like a nice silver color and what you do is go to filter store wave after you go to wave you can um, completely change all of these up now this is one thing when you, you when you're in this option this preset palette here um the settings and everything I give you is not going to be the same and, and it's not going to look the same on your computer because just for the simple fact that it's a random generation uh, effect so every time you randomize it or every time you open it it's going to be a different effect so I can't guarantee the same thing I give you is going to be what you see on your screen but in all reality I'm just going to show you how to make this cool effect alright so what you're going to do is make sure you your, your type is at square and uh, the number of generators I have is about 5 my wavelength is about 100 and the max is 218 um, you can always uh, edit this if you want so basically the max will be how many or how you know how big it's gonna be how big the wave is gonna be the, the minimum is how small or how much it's gonna how many waves is gonna be in this uh, generation so you can kinda add more so as you keep raising the minimum you kinda see the distortion uh, change a little bit so like that and for the amplitude is for the dis um, basically changing how it looks so up and down the fading effect of it so for that I have about 100 and 218 I'll probably do the same thing up here 100 uh, 218 for that one and you can keep pressing randomize you get completely random results you do triangle effect like that like it's like a sound wave and same thing for sign so do square press ok so once you get this cool effect like that press ctrl j to make a copy of that then what we're gonna do is press ctrl t and then hold shift and hit go at the corner so I'm just gonna minimize it so at the corner just kinda hold shift and make sure to you get you get it to about like that then hold alt don't let go shift and then pull one side out and it's automatically going to pull both sides and press enter so once you do that you can um, edit that if you want you can go to your blending style mode and change it to opacity light color you know just keep changing and you get different effects all the time so I'll probably do that one that one looks cool um, that one is on lighten so once you get something like that, you can bring out your text. Um, I have set at Cooper Standard, but I'll probably change that to about to about um, something that's called Danny. It sounds weird, but all right, likes designs. Bring it over just a little bit like that. Press Enter. And I'm just gonna edit that just a little bit. Give it a drop shadow. Maybe a color overlay. Uh, maybe like a blue. I don't know. Maybe something that kind of fits into this. Um. All right. So a light red probably go good. 
Give some inner shadow. Give it a stroke. That looks perfect. Alright, so I'm press OK. Uh, there's my text. Give it a shape. Cool dragon in the middle wouldn't harm anybody. Alright, so there's my cool shape. I'm gonna put that shape in the back. I'm gonna lock the second layer of my background. Uh, edit my dragon just a little bit. Give it a drop shadow. Inner shadow. And a stroke. And I'm gonna drop the fill opacity. Just like that. To maybe about 40. And press OK. So I'm just gonna orient it kind of towards the middle. Kind of looks cool like that. Um, I'm gonna make a new layer. So Control Shift N. That's gonna be for my cool effect I'm gonna put in. So here's my uh, pen tool. Like that. And I'm gonna right click. And you get to find stroke brush and uh, select your brush select simulate, si simulate pressure and I don't have the right brush so I'm gonna go back to my brushes palette um, change my brush to about 13 uh, no, maybe about 20 20 is good and um, leave the color at black select my pen tool again right click on it stroke path select your brush simulate pressure press ok there's the cool effect just right click delete path and uh, select the move tool uh, I'm gonna edit that a little bit kinda give it like a white stroke I don't know I don't know if I should do this but yeah white looks cool uh, and a shadow, yep. red, and drop the opacity on that one to about 20. And I don't know if a drop shadow would probably be good, but to a drop shadow, increase the size just a little bit. It's okay, and there we go. So that's a cool plaid effect in uh, Photoshop, and that's how you kind of do it. So it's me, Mike. Please subscribe, rate my videos, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.